Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We are going to be doing a reading, a private reading for PR number 2014 tonight. Um, it is coming up on his uh, birthday, and he would like to know how his wife and his son are. They have both re uh, have passed, and then uh, he would also like to know if they are at peace with their dog, Lucky, and if they have any messages for him. So I said, again, this is going to be for his birthday, pretty much. He's going to just, he just wants to talk to his wife and son and kind of, said, and kind of just see how everybody's doing. So, um, again, we want to thank you for choosing me to do your private reading. I greatly appreciate it. And again, happy birthday. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling. We're going to go ahead and ask your uh, wise spirit guides, your son's spirit guides, and lucky spirit guides as well as your, uh, yours and mine to all come together to give you a clear answer as to um, what is actually um, they want to tell you, how they feel and when they are around and if they have any messages for you. So we're going to go ahead and cut the deck and get started. again at number PR uh, 2014 I want to thank you for choosing me to do your private reading I greatly appreciate it so we're going to go ahead and start off with how is um, his wife and how is his son doing so we want to know how the wife and son are doing at this very moment where they are they have the ace of cups so they feel the ace of cups where they are so they feel very abundant very happy and they are very able to tap into what is going on around them so they are enjoying that so um let's go ahead and see what comes up next for them for your wife and your son so how does that's going to be your wife probably more or less let's see how your son is feeling where he is how is your son feeling where he is that's quite a few can we just get one please or maybe two let's see how this your son is feeling and what he would like you to know He is saying that he feels a three of swords, so he does feel a little bit of heartbreak. So he does feel the separation between the family when it happened. But um, I don't think that's something that's continuing on. I think that's something that he felt like maybe when he passed, he felt a little bit of heartbreak with the way that he passed. Is kind of more or less how he's coming across. So um, how else do they both feel together? How else do they both feel together? Okay, they've made a choice where they are with the two of swords in reverse. It's going to be air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So that's two air signs now and a um, water sign. So we're going to continue on and see um, if they're at peace with Lucky. Um, they are actually kind of um, where they are right now. There's not much going on. They're kind of just hanging out. doing. There's not much communication. They're just kind of chilling so on the card you kind of see where they are There's some animals here so yes they are saying they are with the uh with lucky even though this is not particularly a dog on the card but there is animals here so they are saying yes lucky is around but they're kind of just hanging around doing their thing at this very moment so let's go ahead and see what else um they have to say they are said where they are they are filling the ten of cups so again you see an animal in the card with them this time it is a cat um I believe Lucky was a dog, but either way, they are saying with the Ten of Cups, they are feeling a happy home where they are. So they feel at peace with the way life is going currently. So let's go ahead and see what else they feel. They feel that justice has been done in any way, shape, or form. So if there's anything in y'all's life that y'all feel have been unjustified, they are saying that it will be justified or it is balanced out by justice. So that will also be clarified with the clarifying card. So let's see. Um, any messages that they have from they're saying that they are bringing in the knight of wands so they are bringing in an action card to show him and this might be it to show them that they are speaking to him and they're being passionate about it with a volcano going off in the background they want him to know that they are very much around him they very much see him and they very much spend time with him um sometimes you don't feel it always especially immediate family but what else do they want him to know any bickering and fighting that had went on in the past has now been put to bed. If there was any, it doesn't have to be particularly between them, but anything that could have been going on within the family. Not directly yours, but either, you know, their family, even work, friends, whatever was something that could have been, you know, going on in the past that was kind of like 
a tit for a tat argument. They're saying that it's been put to bed where they are. So, um, and I'm saying they because it, it is including um, the son and the wife. They've already came in together. So, they are including it as a they. So, um, any other messages that they might have for him? They're saying that um, the Three of Cups is flipped over. So, I think that sometimes they felt that there was maybe times that maybe not they overindulged, but some overindulgence was done in some way. Again, we're going to use clarifying cards to figure that out. But um, they are basically saying that um, they've come out of that energy, whoever felt that the overindulgence was coming from. I'm not sure who it's coming from yet. That's what we'll see what the clarifying cards are going to say. But it is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So, um, usually a bride, it's like partying, having a good time. Um, doing kind of, you know, being the life of the party when it's turned in reverse, it's kind of like going a little bit too far. Um, or maybe overindulging in some sort of way. So let's go ahead and see what they want to go ahead and clarify for how your wife and, or how his wife and his son are doing. I'm going to bring in Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raphael to give us the clearest reading as possible along with Source and everyone's spirit, guys, that is involved. And to please protect us during this reading. So during the Ace of Cups, why is the Ace of Cups here for your wife? How she feels. Why is the Ace of Cups here for your wife and how she feels? Why is the Ace of Cups here for your wife and how she feels? So she feels that um, pretty much the Seven of Swords. So any like lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating that might have gone on and in the family at any time or they felt had went on or somebody did to her. She's saying that she's no longer um, disturbed by it. Like I said, it does not have to be from y'all directly. It could just be somebody that she was involved with. So let's go ahead and do the um, Three of Swords next. So the three of swords is going to be how he felt when he passed. It's going to be how his son felt when he passed. Let's see why his son felt the three of swords. Why did you feel the three of swords when you passed? Because he was coming out of the high priestess. He was trying to do better. When it's in this way, it's kind of like overindulgence, like hiding secrets. That's kind of the moon. So it's, um, you know, maybe partying too much, overindulging, um, you know, just over overdoing something so once in reverse they're trying to come out of that energy so i think maybe he was trying to come out of that energy and but that that particular time when he passed it 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 kind of worked against him in a way and so it, the decision had to be made of some sort what is the decision that needed to be made can you tell us please he had to decide um to make a choice rather to stand firm or her either one but they decided that it was time to end the cycle of whatever was going on. I think in his, I think that it was his time to pass when he passed the sun. So I think that was his original exit point. I think he was struggling with certain things maybe at the time is kind of how I feel. So um, not major things, but just, you know, emotional stuff. And so it's maybe why now he's resting with the eight of wands in reverse. So let's see why the eight of wands is in reverse. Please tell me why the Eight of Wands is in reverse for how y'all feel now. Yeah, they feel like there was no victory in, in what happened whenever he passed. He felt there was no victory. So that's why now where he is, he's happier. Because he is with his mother and they are, are enjoying the Ten of Cups together. So, yeah. So see, they have the cut, another one, Ace of Cups. So they have the abundance again, another water card, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. When it's upright and you see the cup, it's full of everything. Um, everything that you would want, at least within the waterly realm, right? If you're going to eat every like all these things, it's kind of like if you said it, uh, um, it's overabundance. It's um, kind of like the Holy Grail. It's the same thing as this. So they have Ace of Cups upon Ace of Cups. So it's coming out now twice in the reading for them. So she is very abundant feeling. 
She feels there will be justice in something that was done in the home that felt unjustified or maybe that made the home feel unjustified. Maybe not somebody did it, but something that was done to the home. Because the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. When the Pentacles are here, it represents uh, money or the home life. So it is in reverse. So she's saying something that happened within the home that was unjustified will be justified. So let's go ahead and see why the Knight of Wands is here. Oh, that's too many. Just one, please. All right, so you have justice again. So justice is coming out for the Knight of uh, Wands. The Knight of Wands is going to go ahead and bring in justice for um, pretty much any messages that they want to give them. So, I, again, I don't know if there's something going on within the legal system. So that's why they're putting down the um, the argument. There won't, or the, the tit for tat, there won't be any. Um, yeah, because the Five of Wands is being put down too. So with the Five of Wands being put down, it's almost like, again, if you look at them upright, they're like sharks, so they're kind of aggressive, right? If you see their fins. But when they're in reverse, it's like there is no, so there's no more bickering. It's the same card on, on top of it. They're both the Five of Wands. So they're saying whatever's going on, that's his message to let him know that there, whatever battle might, or not battle, but disagreement that might be going on will be put to rest. And it'll be because this Three of Cups will be dumped out, so there will be no more overindulgence. So that will put the battle to rest. So what is the Three of Cups in reverse here for? Thinking about Two Cups because someone's kind of manipulating the earthly realm. But um, again, he is the King of Wands energy, which is going to be Aries, um, Leo, and Sagittarius. So again, um, they are going to say that he is stepping in and that he is going to head and take power of what is going on. So that is how he is able to, um, that is going to be their message for him, that he is more powerful so he doesn't have to deal with that. So we're going to use the Archangel card and see if they have any messages for him directly. I want to thank you again, PR number 2014, for choosing me to do your private reading. I greatly appreciate it. Alright, so that's two. So we have courage and creative writing. So we have um, creative writing and courage. So Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen or article or book. So that is very actually important whenever you are trying to um, remember dreams. They also tell you a lot to go ahead and journal whenever you're trying to remember something. And especially once you wake up because you do forget your dreams quite often. And they're saying to go ahead and be courageous and, and do what you need to do. Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. They're saying so stand up to what you believe in and who and like anybody who doubts that. So let's see if they have any angel answers or anything they want to tell him between the two of them. And Lucky as well. So the three of them, excuse me. And once again, I want to wish him a happy birthday as well. They said there will be um, improving health if you choose a new direction and if you believe. So all these things can happen. Um, improving the health if you choose a new direction. The health will improve and all you have to do is believe. So if anybody's having any health issues, they're letting them know. If you just kind of take a new approach to that kind of health issue, then more than likely it will be solved. So let's go ahead and get a Purpose of Life card for the both of them. This one. Two. Again, here comes justice again. So I don't know if there's something that needs to be done within the legal system to kind of justify something. I'm not sure, but it is justice again. So your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So maybe someone in the family does it or talk to, and talk to your angels instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. They are saying um, whenever something happens to go ahead and ask your angels and they will help give you guidance. So we're going to go ahead and use the pendulum and ask them if they are here and if they are at peace. 
So we, your husband and your father would like to know if the two of you are here with your spirit guides. Yes, they are. Is Lucky here? Let me see. What's the second? Are you here too, Lucky? So Lucky's here too. So, um, are y'all at peace where y'all are? Yes. Would you like to wish your husband and father a happy birthday? Yes. <laughs> so they said happy birthday. And that they are very much with you. So let's go ahead and do the singing bowl. Okay, PR number 2014, I want to thank you again for choosing me to do your private reading. I greatly appreciate it. I said it was an honor. And again, I, um, happy birthday to your father. And um, again, your um, father, son, and wife both are saying happy birthday to him as well. And that they are here and wishing him a happy birthday as well. So, um, again, I want to thank y'all. And if y'all are interested, if anybody else is interested in having a private reading like this for themselves... All the information is in my about section. So again, I want to thank you um, for doing the private reading number PR 2014. And I will, if you have any questions, you may go ahead and email me and I will discuss them with you. So y'all have a great night and I will talk to you soon.